Good morning. This is my first Instagram Live, so welcome. I hope that I have a few people pop on and join me this morning because I have some important things I want to share with my followers and uh, my new followers. I've gotten a lot of new followers um, on my Instagram account over the past week. Um, that is probably due to um, some sponsored ads that I've placed, but also just everybody is online these days. Um, I know that I have been wasting a lot of my time on social media and um, that's going to stop today. I've decided that today is going to be my first official um, work from home day. I am had been kind of just kind of going on as business as usual. Um, but I've decided that today we're going to hunker down a little bit more. We went out to eat last night um, at a local restaurant that had outdoor seating, so we sat outside, And but I decided this was, that was probably going to be the last time for a little bit. So I'm coming to you live from my house. It is a work in progress. As some of you know, um, I bought this house. I've been renting it for a long time, and I bought it back in October, and I'm slowly but surely doing some renovations to it. And uh, hey, Grace. Um, so I'm going to try not to say um too much and I'm going to try to kind of stay on task. But the main um, reason that I'm on here today is <laughs> I'm not going to put you in my video, Grace, but maybe later, maybe later. Um, so anyway, I am here to talk to you about being at home. Um, I love being at home. I love being, um, in my pajamas. I love watching Netflix. I enjoy being at home but I like it to be my choice. And right now it is becoming less and less of my choice to be at home. And I know a lot of you out there, you have no choice at all right now other than to be in your home. I live in Tallahassee, Florida, and we just learned yesterday late afternoon that our schools are gonna be closed through April the 15th. We are technically on our spring break this week. So we're kind of, uh, my son is still in the bed, so we're kind of taking this week as a lazy spring break week, but next week we're going to, who knows what's going to happen. So it's a lot of unknowns, and that is scary for a lot of us, including me um, as a self-employed single mom. Um, it's a little worrisome because I'm a planner, and I like to know what things are happening in my life and my business and kind of giving it up giving it to God um, over these next few weeks is going to be a really um, big test for me. So what my point of this is I'm going to start doing some little projects around my house and I'm going to share those projects with all of you. And in addition to Instagram, I'm going to post the um, projects on my Facebook page. I am going to create blog posts that will um, Kind of reiterate everything that I'm saying. I'm going to save these live videos onto um, an, an Instagram TV channel, which I've never done. So we're going to see how that goes. And I'm going to kind of tell you how you can do these same things in your house while we're all sequestered in our homes. And some of you may not really like being at home. So I'm going to start today with creating a place where you can work from home. I used to work from home for many, many years. I had a bedroom that was my home office. And then about three years ago, I moved all of that into a real office down the street. So I have had no place to really work from home other than my dining room table. And that has been problematic because I spread out everywhere. And then when we want to eat, I've because now we're eating at home, I have to pack everything and stack everything back up. So I decided that my first project, my mini project, because I'm going to do 10 mini projects around the house, my first one is going to be creating um, a place for me to work. And what was odd is I have this weird, and I'm going to show you in just a second where I'm sitting right now is at the desk. I have this kind of weird, awkward um, space in my family room that isn't really part of my conversation area. You can't see the TV if you're sitting over here. It's almost like a bay window, but it's straight. And I had just two chairs sitting in it. It doesn't have any curtains. It's just kind of this weird space right here by my front door. And you can see that's my front door. This is my little entry foyer. And then this spot is like right there. 
So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to kind of show you what I've done. I'm actually using this space. I thought maybe I would just kind of set it up for this, but I did it last night and I really like it. And everything that I put here, I had around the house except a couple of fun accessories that my sweet, sweet friend Kim at the Polka Dot Press um, set me up with. I went by her shop. She's a local um, gift shop here in town. Her and I have been doing business together a long time. She printed my very first business cards when I went out on my own eight years ago. And um, I really love her and um, I'm thankful for her. So her products that are going to be um, featured here on this um, post will be available for you guys to buy online. So I'm going to link all of that information onto my blog post. And then I will also, um, I think I'm going to do a stories and kind of, you know, tag everybody in my stories when I'm done with this. This is very fluid. I did not practice what I was going to do today. I was really trying to be authentic and really do what I um, am uncomfortable doing, uh, which is these live videos. So give me just a second. I'm going to push this, quick this around if it's going to let me. Oh, it's not going to let me. Oh, crud. All right. So that's weird. Okay. It, I thought it was going to let me flip it around, but I think what I'm going to have to do is just turn the camera, my phone around. <laughs> and hopefully I'll kind of look at it and see if you can see what's going on. Okay. We're going to try this. Okay. All right. So as you can see, this is kind of the space that I've got going on here. All right. And I'm going to kind of turn the camera around. I'm going to pull back a little bit so you can kind of see. So this is it. And I had this desk. This was an old desk of my mom's that was in my garage for a long time and then ended up being um, in my guest bedroom closet for a long time. I just pulled that out. If you don't have a desk, you can use like a sofa table or a console table. Um, as long as you've got some space to put a chair under, you're good. I'm so sorry, guys. This is crazy. I'm trying to look and do it at the same time. So, you know, you can just kind of see what I did here. And I'm going to kind of pan back so you can kind of get a full view here of what everything is kind of looking like there. So I just tucked it over here in the corner. I brought a lamp from my lamp library in my garage. I brought in some fresh flowers. I'm supporting a local florist who had a wedding cancel and went by and bought some flowers. And let me kind of show you then. Oh, this is something I like doing. I have a bulletin board in my office. I brought it. I'm going to start adding some stuff to it. There's usually a vase that sits up there on that little shelf. And so I took that vase off and I stuck that bulletin board up there and I'm going to use that. So you can kind of see what I love, love, love is this piece. So this came from <clears throat> Lord. All right, guys, bear with me. This piece is metal and this came from the polka dot press and it is holding all my files and my papers so that it can look neat and it can kind of hold um, my notebooks. I'm going to stick all this paperwork in there when I'm done at the end of the day. I brought a coffee mug from my kitchen, put my pens and pencils in. So it's, it's not fancy, but it works. So I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to put it in my story so that you can um, see more of it. All right, I'm going to sit back down and flip this back around so you can see. Sorry. So lesson learned, I can't flip it around when I'm filming. All right, so does anybody have any questions? What are you guys doing? Are you working from home right now? Um, if you are, send me a wave, send me, um, tell me what's going on, what's happening in your world right now. I wanna know, um, are you out of school? Are you working from home because you want to? Are you forced to work from home? Do you normally work from home? Because a lot of people, normally do work from home. So I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear your questions. If you've got some questions about your space, um, you know, let me know, send me a message. I know this live is just gonna save and people can comment on it and I can hopefully go back later and um, answer the questions for you individually. Send me a direct message with a question. If you are working from home and you've had to set up something similar to this, post it on your Instagram for me, tag me. I think I'm going to do a little giveaway for everyone who um, maybe implements some of these projects and tags me. I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to do a gift certificate to the Polka Dot Press 
um, you do not have to live in Tallahassee to use that. You can go online because um, Kim was um, so sweet to loan me some stuff. I bought some stuff from her yesterday and um, her and I have a really great relationship so I really want to help her out. So let me know. Um, thank you so much for being here. Um, it is a hard time for everybody but I'm going to make the best of it. I am going to enjoy this time in my house because like I said, I love being at home already. I'm gonna enjoy this time catching up on paperwork for my business that I've been neglecting. We've got a lot of marketing stuff that was already being planned since the beginning of the year. So um, Mandy, who has been helping me with that, is gonna be really excited that I'll be able to kind of really focus on that. We've got some new products we're gonna be putting out, um, some new services. I'm thinking about doing a virtual um, online consultation service during this time. So if you're stuck at home and you need some design advice, you can hire me. We can do like a face, kind of like FaceTime, but on a much more professional level that we can do some online meetings together. So those are some ideas. If you've got any um, requests or ideas of what you're doing, um, I'd love to hear from you. All right, so we've got about 12 minutes in. I think I've done my time. Um, I want to thank my sister for these amazing loungewear pajamas that she gave me for Christmas. They are from um, Sweet Dreams or Barefoot Dreams, Barefoot Dreams, but they're a different brand and they are super, super comfortable. They feel just like pajamas, but if you had to go out in them, you could, but since we're not going out, they're fine, but they make me feel a little bit better. I got up, I got dressed, took a shower, put on a little bit of makeup. I think that is really important for this time, especially um, for people like me who like to be lazy when they're at home, is and not showering or getting you know themselves ready. Let's get up, let's get up every morning, let's take a shower, let's put on a little makeup, let's put on something more than our pajamas and take this one day at a time. That's all we can do. So thanks again, guys, and I look forward to um, being back hopefully tomorrow. The 10 little projects, 10, I'm gonna call them 10 mini projects, I think, so I'm gonna keep them very simple. I'm hoping to do one each day, but give me a little grace because there may be some times when I can't get on here and share, but I am definitely gonna do 10 over the next two weeks, and then we're gonna have a guide at the end of this that we you can download. Um, so you can have all this information at your fingertips as well as the blog post where you can get links to most everything. If there's anything new that I'm featuring on each project, I'm gonna link it there. Um, and just so you can take all my information and implement a great work at home space for yourself. All right, thanks you guys and have a great, great Wednesday.